everyone, I am Professor Savita Bodke and welcome to the quick revision series of international finance. In the today's lecture, we are going to study regarding the triangular arbitrage. Please remember that in case of the triangular arbitrage, we are ha always having the three currencies. So we are having one sum of Mumbai University over here from the old syllabus. They have given you a three different currency pairs. The first one is the USD CAD. Next one they have given you USD CHF and next one they have given you CAD CHF. For each and every currency pair they have specified the bid rate as well as the ask rate. Now they have given you the instructions that identify and calculate the triangular arbitrage. So what we are going to do right now? We are going to convert this first two currencies in the sequence of CAD CHF and for that we are going to use cross currency rate. So, already we are aware regarding the cross currency rates, how to compute the cross currency rates. But if you are not aware how to compute the cross currency rates, then I am going to provide you the link in the description box. First go and watch that video and then only start with this lecture. So, now we require the currency pair of the CAD CHF and in the question they have given you USD CAD and USD CHF. So whatever the currency pair you require that only we are going to write down over here. So I have specified CAD CHF. Now always we require the bid rate. So we have written bid over here. Now the next step is we have to prepare the two brackets. We have to put the multiplication sign in between. Now this is the bid. So we have to write down bid and bid. The first currency will occupy the first position. The second currency is directly going to occupy the last position. And in the question, we can see that USD is the common currency. So that common currency USD is going to occupy the second and third position. Now we require the CAD USD bid rate. But we are having USD CAD bid rate and ask rate. So simply we are going to apply the formula of the inverse rate. What will happen in the inverse rate? Whatever the currency is at the first position that will occupy the second position and second position currency will occupy the first position. So we have to write down 1 divided by USD CAD and this bid will become the ask. Now USD CHF, yes we are having this USD CHF rate. So I am not going to apply inverse rate formula over here. So now we are having USD CHF bid is of 1.2. 3785 so I have specified 1.3785 1 and USD CAD ask rate already we are having that is 1.1695 that we have specified. Now we are going to divide this so we will get the bit rate is of 1.1787 over here. Now we have to compute the ask rate again for the CAD CHF because this currency pair we are not having and we have to derive that rate. So again CAD CHF we require ask so we are going to specify ask over here. We are going to prepare the two brackets. We are going to put the multiplication sign ask is over here. So here also we have to write down the ask. Here also we have to write down the ask. The first currency will occupy the first position. Second currency will directly occupy the last position and the common currency in the question that is USD that will occupy the second and third position. Now CAD USD ask rate we are not having but we are having USD CAD rate. So I am going to apply the inverse rate formula once again. So it will become 1 divided by USD CAD and this ask will become the bid rate. This USD CHF will remain same because we are having USD CHF rate. Now over here USD CHF ask rate. USD CHF ask rate is 1.3795. This we are going to specify over here and USD CAD bid rate we are having is of the 1.1685. So that also we are going to specify. So after the computation we got the CAD CHF ask is of the 1.1806. So right now we have derived the CAD CHF rate is of the bid rate we have computed is of 1.1787 and the ask rate we have just now computed that is 1.1806. 
now in the question we are already having the cad chf rate that is is of the 1.1885 and 1.1895 so now this rate we are going to specify over here now we have to decide that from where we are going to purchase the currency and where we are going to sell it so here we have to find out the lowest rate so lowest rate here i can identify that as the 1.1806 now over here i have to identify the higher rate so higher rate is 1.1885 it means that i am going to purchase the currency at 1.1806 and i am going to sell the currency at 1.1885 so now we have to write down that the bid that is identified bid is of the 1.1885 is greater than the ask rate is of 1.1806 so therefore we can purchase the currency at the lower rate and we can sell this at the higher rate so arbitrage exists now we have to assume the capital so capital always we are going to assume at the 1 million that is 10 lakhs so we are going to assume the capital of cad is of the 1 million already we are having a formula for the arbitrage gain is of principal into identified bid this whole is divided by the identified ask minus principal amount principal 1 million into the identified bid is 1.1885 1.1885 divided by the identified ask is of the 1.1806 minus the principal amount now please pay attention over here in this situation i am having the derived amount as well as the given amount but this ask this identified ask is the derived amount and as i have discussed in the previous session if you are not seeing the previous session that link also i am going to provide in the description box that is regarding your simple arbitrage so please watch that also then you will able to understand that which step we are following over here so this is your derived rate so in case of the derived rate we are going to put the original rate and how we have derived this 1.1806 this we have derived with the help of the 1.3795 divided by 1.1685 so this only we are going to place over here so for the simplification purpose i have solved this on the paper so we are having this step over here now what we are going to do this is the derived amount so the original amount we are going to put in place of the 1.1806 so how we have derived that we have derived that with the help of the 1.3795 divided by 1685 now with the help of the simple mathematics what will happen over here 1 million into 1.1885 this will remain same but this will be over here as the multiply so into 1.1685 the entire thing is divided by this will remain as it is that is 1.3795 minus 1 million so once you will simplify this you will get the answer is of 6714.21 and we have invested a capital of CAD 1 million so we have to write down the answer as the arbitrage gain is of CAD 6714.21 per CAD 1 million I hope that this concept of triangular arbitrage is clear to all of you again I am going to revise few points for you in a triangular arbitrage always there will be the three currency pairs we have to convert any two currency pairs so i have converted over here the first two currency pair with the help of the cross currency rate then we got the bid rate and ask rate then we have to identify the bid and identify the ask we have to identify that whether the arbitrage is exist whatever is your derived rate in case of that derived rate you have to put the original rate for example i have mentioned the original rate over here so i hope that there is no confusion all the best for the examination thank you so much